All right, here we go. This is not just another episode of Nelly's News. This is Nelly's breaking news. I am excited to introduce you to Univue's newest video doorbell. There she is. Isn't she beautiful? Now, before you get too excited, let me tell you up front that this is not a replacement to our old NSC DB2. It is not exactly the same because while, while it is hardwired for power, this is not actually compatible with any chime, which I know to some that is going to be a disappointment, uh, but I know to others, including myself, that's actually a positive feature of this doorbell because uh, I, I have two small children. I've made a video about this before. I don't like the doorbell going off in my house. I, I like having it on my phone so that I only get notifications uh, quietly to myself. For that, this doorbell is perfect. Uh, it's way easier than the NSC DB2 to install and to get set up. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. But if the chime is absolutely essential for you and if you are uh, looking for a more full replacement to the NSC DB2, don't lose hope, this isn't the final solution. We are going to have more doorbells coming out in the future. I know we keep telling you to just wait, but that's the only answer I have for you today. But for now, if the chime is not a deal breaker for you, uh, this is a great solution for your video doorbell needs uh, that does have all of the features of our previous doorbell, just without the ability to wire into the chime. And note before you ask, it's not compatible with any wireless chimes either. So with that disclaimer out of the way, let's set this sucker up. All right, for this, you are going to need to download a different app. Um, the Easy View application is just not optimized for working with doorbells. So the application that we use for this is Easy Live. That's what it looks like. So we will open this up. Uh, it's the same exact cloud account that you use for Easy View. So once you pull up Easy Live, all of the cameras that you already have connected to your Easy View cloud account will pull right in. Uh, and you can see, you can even switch to Easy Live if you want to. It, it is a great application. It can do everything that Easy View can do with the addition of um, you know, really good doorbell compatibility. So if you get one of these doorbells, it might be worth it to just get rid of Easy View and adopt Easy Live in its place. So now to set up this doorbell, the first thing we're going to do is plug this into power. Uh, it's very versatile. This can be used with uh, AC power supply, 16 volts up to 24 volts, or just a simple 12 volt DC power supply. Uh, you can also power this with a micro USB. So you have a ton of options when it comes to getting this thing set up. Once you do power it up, you can see the IR lights come on to tell you it's working. Welcome. We get this red light, we get the vocal uh, feedback. Waiting for network connection. Please add and configure the device on the mobile client. And there we have our green flashing light that tells us that this thing is ready to get set up. So, just like the voice told us, and she's going to keep telling us forever. Waiting for network connection. Please add and configure the device on the mobile client. She wants us to add and configure the device on the mobile on the mobile client. So to do this, we're going to click this plus button and we're going to click add Wi-Fi device. We're going to select which Wait device we want. Connection. We're going to select our device from this list. We're setting up the doorbell. Make sure the doorbell is covered by the Wi-Fi network. It is. Waiting for network connection. It's telling us to get the QR code ready. On this device, the QR code is found underneath this cover. Uh, there is a, a screw here to take out, a security screw. Connection. Once that screws out, take the cover off and we have our QR code right there. So we're going to tell the app that the device is ready to scan the QR code. Waiting for network connection. Please and click and next. The device on the mobile client. We can name... For network connection. So we can name this whatever we want to. I will leave it as my doorbell. Uh, it's already set up on the Wi-Fi. It pulls that in from your phone. You can click this arrow and it'll bring you in here to... Uh, you want it to be able to use your local network. Waiting for network connection. As long as that option is selected, it should pull in your uh, whatever network you're connected to. We're going to tell it the password here. Waiting for network connection. And the Waiting for network connection. And for register code, we're just going to scan this QR code on the side of our doorbell. Once all that information. For network <sighs> connection. Once all that information is ready to go, we're going to click next. 
and now it wants me to hold Waiting for network connection. And now we're going to scan this QR code with our doorbell camera. QR code read successfully. Connecting network. Please wait. Network connected. Adding the device to cloud. I'm going to go ahead and click success, success the continue. Has been added to cloud. And she's saying our device has been added. Now I'm just going to click OK. And I refresh my camera feeds here. And if I scroll down to the very bottom, we can see uh, my doorbell. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to hit play. Now I'm going to click into the settings. Let's go to receive alarm message. I'm going to enable that. It says the doorbell alert is enabled. So with all of that, let's test this thing out. And now I'm going to push the doorbell and we're going to see what happens. We can see it turns blue and we have a notification that says our doorbell is ringing. So we can click that. Uh, it's going to want my face ID. It'll take us right to this screen where we can, uh, we have to give it access to the microphone. Yes, you can have access to my microphone. And there we go. We can answer the door, connect it. Okay, okay. Going to hang up because that was terrible. And so there we have it. That is the Uniview doorbell. Uh, check out the links below to check this out for yourself. It's great. Again, if you don't need that chime, this is gonna be a great doorbell to have. Uh, I like it a lot. I like that you can access the web browser uh, just like a regular Uniview camera. So unlike the DB2, you could only access it from your phone or an NVR. The Uniview doorbell, you can access it just like a regular Uniview camera. So you can add this to your NVR. You can access it from your computer via the web interface. You can access it from your phone in this beautiful new Easy Live application that is optimized for doorbell usage. And that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this doorbell. Is that uh, the fact that it is not compatible with the Chime? Is that a deal breaker for you? Are you going to wait around for another doorbell? Or are you gonna give this one a try? I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, we're always willing to hear your questions. Give us a call, send us an email, leave a comment. We're always happy to help you out. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video, and I will see you next time.